The first thing I'm going to do to prove that uh, the system actually works is uh, erasing the user data on vector. So we start with a totally blank uh, vector. You probably don't have to do that on your one, but uh, I want to make sure that uh, someone takes uh, the vector out of the box and uh, is able to connect uh, to the new system. Okay, let's erase the user data. Poor, poor Tom, we have to kill him. That's it, bye bye. Okay, as we can see after the reboot, the poor vector is stuck in this situation. He's asking you to be connected to the DDL server to be onboarded, but don't do that. Let's move next. Now I have flashed uh, uh, the image on this uh, 32 gigabytes uh, memory card. I will put it in the Raspberry Pi and see what happens. So I put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and uh, turn it on. What happens when the Pi turns on is that uh, since it doesn't know anything about my own network, it puts itself in um, an access point mode. It broadcasts a Wi-Fi network called VectorX Setup and we are going to hook to that network and uh, configure um, the SSID and the password to access my home network. Okay, I'm connected to PocketCube, it's my home network. now. Excuse me, but my computer is in Italian. Let's uh, switch to the VectorX setup network. Connect. Windows may complain that it doesn't have internet access, but of course it, it's normal. Then let's open Chrome and uh, let's go to this address. 192.168.220.1.80 uh, colon 8080 and that's it welcome to vector x this uh, is the small um, setup uh, web page that uh, allows you to choose a home network to connect to let's choose the pocket cube password and uh, okay what happens now on the Pi is that uh, the network is uh, saved and uh, Pi will attempt to connect to this uh, network that uh, we saved so to progress we have to go back to the network settings change our network go back to the home network And once we are connected, we can progress to this page, escape port number 8070. And we get to the real VectorX setup. This is an initial setup that allows you to configure a few parameters that help uh, VectorX and Warpod run is very simple, so let's go. You have the weather setup where you put the, the temperature unit and the openweathermap.org API key. If you don't have one, you can click here and it will open the page for you where you can register a new account and get a free API key. Then uh, in this case we don't put anything, we go next. It complains that uh, 
without an API key we don't uh, have weather forecast available but that's okay then we can choose the knowledge graph provider Houndify or OpenAI and also in this case if you don't have an account you can follow the links and uh, sign up and get uh, your API key to put here if you don't do that it complains and uh, it reminds you that without an API key you won't be able to use this feature then that's okay okay we choose the language uh, it's set uh, to Italian on the image but uh, you can switch it to English and go next and then you save and complete setup okay this message is important it means that uh, all the data was saved correctly in WirePod and VectorX configuration files uh, so the setup is done and uh, at this point uh, we have to onboard uh, our vector we erased uh, the user data so vector doesn't know anything about uh, which servers to connect uh, how to access the internet and so on to do that uh, uh, we run a process called onboarding that is the um, basic uh, wirepod onboarding so it's very simple and it is uh, guaranteed to work we click onboarding basically we are uh, redirected uh, to this uh, page uh, for the onboarding and uh, you need to use uh, chrome uh, to do that okay you may uh, be familiar with this already is the um, the page where you can uh, uh, bind uh, your vector to your computer through Bluetooth and then uh, uh, give a vector the um, Wi-Fi settings and uh, then uh, it will register on WirePod and uh, will be available on WirePod if you don't have the correct uh, uh, auto image for the escape pod it will also download uh, on the robot uh, uh, the correct uh, image so let's do the onboarding together the first thing is uh, pairing with vector to pair with vector we have to double click its back button twice while he is on the charger um, it will show a pairing screen then we go on the computer and choose pair with vector vector will show a pin let's copy it on the computer let's choose the network And connect vector to Wi-Fi in this case uh, uh, my image uh, on vector doesn't need to be upgraded it is already the escape pod image so nothing happens but in case it's not the same uh, it will download the correct image on the vector automatically we set these details save settings vector setup is completed vector has eyes and uh, it will connect automatically to the wire pod and uh, upload its uh, configuration files on wire pod so we are able to go back to the setup page click onboarding completed and we get to the vector x control panel We get to the VectorX control panel page again. The consistency check says that uh, okay, we don't have uh, openweathermap.org API key, so it won't work. We don't have uh, the knowledge provider, so it won't work. We don't care about that at the moment. Uh, if you put the right data, it will work right away. What we care is that uh, we can go to the wire pod interface the classical one 
we can go to configure bots and uh, you see that the serial number of my bot is automatically uh, loaded we can connect to the bot and uh, do all the sort of things uh, you do with wireboard so for example you can change uh, the eye color now i have purple i put uh, it's sort of yellow i put uh, lime green or uh, pinkish or whatever and then uh, i can change uh, the volume i normally keep it low okay low is better and uh, all the other things also vector x commands run uh, immediately so if i say hey vector hello world Okay, that's the test command I normally use to test uh, that uh, vector x is working fine. Maybe we can try also. Hey vector, hey vector, let's play a classic. And it will start the pong game. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, my cube here right now <laughs> i kind of lost it i have to look for it as i could move uh, the um, the left pedal with uh, the the cube okay that's it uh, i think i've covered uh, everything then if you want to log in uh, by ssh to to the image uh, on the Raspberry Pi, the username is Pi and the password is VectorX. This is just the first test. Uh, the quality of the web pages is not super. It could be improved and I will surely do that in further releases. I will also have to find a way to do an upgrade. So maybe I don't want to release uh, new images uh, when there are some upgrades uh, maybe you have uh, you better have a way to update uh, the software within the software okay thanks for watching i don't want to make it too long and uh, i hope you enjoyed this bye